Good evening. My name is Noel Freeman. I'm the president of the Houston GLBT Political Caucus. It's the oldest nonpartisan GLBT civil rights organization in the United States. I represent the political interests of tens of thousands of Houstonians. Like many others, I'm here tonight to discuss the disgraceful actions of an HISD trustee. On Friday, he hand-delivered to mailboxes campaign literature that told voters to vote against his opponent because he stood up for GLBT rights and because he had specifically been endorsed by the organization of which I proudly serve as president. What you all might not know is that he also went on television and said that he just couldn't understand why an unmarried 54-year-old man would want access to children. That statement in and of itself and the implication conveyed therein is reprehensible and simply disgusting. But even when this blew up in the media, he didn't say, you know, I was wrong. He said, I'm still going to hand this out on election day. But since he thinks that the support of GLBT equality and the endorsement of the Houston GLBT political caucus somehow makes a person unqualified to serve on this board, I would ask him to look around himself. He might just be horrified to know that there are members of this board that are members of the caucus who have been endorsed by the caucus who serve with him. People who have been fighting for GLBT rights longer than he has served on this board. He issued a half-hearted apology not to the GLBT community but to the media. We had to find out about it from the Houston Chronicle. That in and of itself is reprehensible and tells us that it's not sincere if it's not to the community. I don't believe that he was really interested in making sure it came to our community. And in that half-hearted apology, he refused to speak to the substance of what was so offensive in that piece of campaign literature. And he referred to our community as those people. Sir, we are not those people. We are constituents, taxpayers, students, parents, friends, family. There's no place for attitudes like yours that treat our community like we're less than anyone else. There's no place for attitude like yours that say advocates for equality should be denied the ability to serve the public and represent the interests of our children. You cannot simply say, oops, I'm sorry, and this all goes away. We will never forget what you did. The one bright spot in this election is that now your constituents know who you really are and what you really believe. You've single-handedly tarnished the reputation of this body, and you have brought discredit upon HISD on a national level. I respectfully ask this body see fit to remove you as its representative on the Texas Association of School Boards and to strip you of your title as first vice president. Thank you.